Hi, I'm Debbie from The Book Ponder. Thank you for joining me for another video. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick little weekly wrap up, Friday Reads. Uh, it's been, March has been off to a slow start for me. I really wanted to join in on the March Mystery Madness. I love mysteries. I don't read them quite so often anymore. Um, I do dip into them occasionally here and there. I used to like read primarily mysteries long, long ago and I just, sometimes they get too dark for me and then I read cozy mysteries and I kind of get tired of those. So I actually had quite a few um, books, sort of cozy mysteries and things stacked up on my shelves that I haven't gotten to yet so I thought oh this would be a great opportunity I just didn't get traction with them I'm just not in the mood I guess to be reading mysteries right now um, or at least not the ones that I have on my shelves I did try a few different books from the library it wasn't going anywhere for me um, I read started to read several books I think I read you know 50 pages 100 pages I just March, I was just off to a very, very slow start. I just could not really get in sync with any of the books I was trying to read until I finally read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I just made a video on that and posted that. I will put a link down below if you haven't seen that video. Um, that book was fantastic. I was very surprised, uh, or I should say, I did not think I would enjoy that book, and I was very surprised how much I loved it. Um, that's always a nice surprise when you really go into something with no expectations or low expectations, and it surprises you. And then to end up being such a fantastic book, and if you if you haven't seen the other video and you don't know much about it, it is the story of a Hollywood actress uh, set back early on in her career and it follows her through the end of her career but actually it's it, well it's her in the modern day in her 80s dictating her story to this young woman Monique who works for a newspaper magazine and um, she wants Evelyn wants Monique to write her biography. And so she tells the story of her seven husbands along the way, which sort of corresponds to and chronicles her um, Hollywood career and um, her background and how she got her start and then, you know, where she ends up in to the modern day. The book is just so much more than that, though. I mean, to me that doesn't do the book justice at all for what this book is it is those things but it is a whole bunch more than that and um, this book it doesn't have spoilers like a thriller or a mystery but it does sort of have these layers of of knowledge that as we get to know more and more about Evelyn we get to understand her on a deeper and deeper level and it is sort of like getting to know a person or even you know the the whole experience of seeing someone in a movie and not really knowing much about them you just see sort of the superficial and then you start to find out a little bit more about them and then you find out a little bit more and then a whole lot more and that's kind of how this book went I mean I thought it was very interesting um, that it really was sort of like peeling off the layers of, of something or unfolding something, you know, that you start to see more and more of the truth that lies at the bottom uh, of it. I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but, you know, I, um, I, it's the kind of book when I got done, I thought, oh no, I'm going to be in a book slump because, <laughs> There's no way I'm going to finish this book having, you know, that afterglow fog that you get in when you read just a fantastic book. And um, interestingly enough, the next book that I got, so a lot of my reads, it fits my style, right? But it's because of the way I put newer books on hold at the library, I don't really know when they're going to come in. It's all sort of random. And right now I have like 12 books up from the library. 
and um, I'm just trying to figure out which one to start with next and how to get into them. And so I just finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and in came um, The House of Impossible Beauties, which is another new book. And I said, well, I don't think I'm going to like this book. So let me just start it really quick. I can dismiss it, send it back, and then it's off of my library queue. I don't have to worry about this one. And you know, I started it and I enjoyed it. And now I'm probably about 60% of the way through it. It's about 400 and something pages. Um, I really am enjoying it. I, I'm at the part where it's kind of slowed down, but I think we're starting to pick it up. It is about the ball culture back during, I guess it's primarily sad during the 80s, 90s. And um, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I actually have not, I'm not familiar with the ball culture um, from New York and all of that. Evidently, there is a documentary um, about the House of Extravaganza. I think that's what the documentary is about, but the ball culture scene. Um, and this book is sort of a fictionalized account of that documentary, I believe. I am not entirely sure of all of that, to be honest. I. I don't like digging into too much until after I'm done with the book because I just kind of want to experience it. And then when I get done, I go looking for stuff because otherwise it takes me out of the book and I'm afraid that I will find things out that I don't want to know or that kill my motivation. So that's why I haven't watched the documentary yet. Um, I am really, really enjoying the book though. It's, it's different, but yeah, there's a lot of similarities between it and... Uh, the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I'm considering doing some sort of video where I compare the two because they are so much alike, yet on their surface, they are nothing alike. So um, I've been thinking a lot about that too, you know, about the, the similarities of things that don't seem like they go together, yet when you look at them closely, they really do. So that is... Um, what I'm reading right now. I'm hoping to finish that up probably tomorrow. So next up in my reading, Righteous by Joe Ide, and that is book two in the IQ series. Um, I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm looking forward to seeing if the second one, I how I found this IQ series was actually um, because I had seen such great reviews of Righteous. So I went back and read the first one first, and now I'm going to read the second one. So I, I have high hopes for this one, but you know, especially since I already read the first one, I feel like I do know that I like the author's writing. Uh, I'm hoping this one is good. Another one I have had on my TBR, our library queue forever, is All the Crooked Saints. That one just finally came in, and so I honestly don't remember a single thing about it. I like the cover. <laughs> I know it has been on my queue a really long time, so I'm looking forward to opening that one and seeing what that one is about. Uh, I also have Devil in a Blue Dress and Blanche on the Lamb, which are some recommendations I picked up from other booktubers during February, and um, I believe I got them from Read Soulet. I'm not sure. Um, it might have been... Um, upcoming mystery um, suggestions. I can't really remember, but I'm, I'm looking forward to trying those. And um, Six of Crows, which I can't remember why I put that one on my queue either. I don't usually do very well with series like that, but I keep trying. You never know. And then the other one that I probably should read and I just, I think I tried, so Bear Town. I tried it when it first came out from the library. I remember it just being meh, I, but it could have been me. Um, that happens a lot where I just, I'm not feeling the book. The book is fine. I just am not feeling it. I don't make very much progress. I just give up on it because it's like, well, I'd rather move on to something that's grabbing me than sit here forcing myself to read something that isn't right now. So, um, I don't have any problem doing that. <laughs> and so, um, I let it go back. Well, this new book club that I'm in picked it for our April read. 
and so it has just come in and so I really do need to give it a shot. Beartown will be interesting. Uh, I forced myself through little the, the Berry Giant, sorry, and um, I have actually read another book for book club so far. I'm kind of 0 for 2. Uh, I hope I like Beartown better this time around. I did like um, some of his other books, so yeah, we'll give it a shot. So this is a um, hopefully not too long of a video for Friday Reads, and I will see you next time. As always, thank you for stopping by. Um, feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Leave a comment down below, and um, I will look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.